hi everyone and welcome in this video we will see how to create mqtt publisher using javascript so your javascript will act as a mqtt publisher or you can say mqtt client which will publish the random data to mqtt broker and we can read that data in any of our mqtt client software okay so let's see how you can use javascript to do that so if you download the code from here then you will get few files inside the project folder okay first one is config.json second one is index.js and other two files are for packages okay now the main file is index.js okay which you have to run and you have to do the all configuration in the config.json file so if you open the config.json file uh, here you will see the broker address broker port number username and password for the broker and the topic which we are going to publish the data okay so this is the config.json file so all you have to do is to update this file as per your broker details and then after this index.js file will use the config.json file to get the broker details and it will publish the random values now to use this index.js file we first have to install the necessary library so to do that we will open the command prompt in the same location then after we will uh, run the command npm install to install the required libraries okay it will take few seconds to install the library in your system okay you can see here added 44 packages okay so our library is installed successfully now we can run this index.js file which is our main javascript code but before running that let me show you the uh, data flow diagram so our javascript will act as a mqtt publisher which will publish the data to our HiveMQ MQTT broker, okay? And using our MQTT client software, which is MQTT Explorer, we can read that data. So this is the basic data flow diagram, uh, which we are going to follow in this video. So JavaScript will publish the data to HiveMQ MQTT broker, and uh, we will use our MQTT Explorer software to connect with HiveMQ broker, and we can read the data. Now I can run the JavaScript file by node, index.js okay and uh, once it is connected to the mqtt broker you will see the message connected to mqtt broker you can see connected to mqtt broker now it will publish the random values on this topic javascript slash random okay so now i'm going to open the mqtt explorer software to read the topic values inside my mqtt client software so i will connect with the hive mq broker and i will add topics okay so our topic is already added javascript slash random so we will not add the topics again and we will directly connect with hive mq broker you can see the topic is available javascript inside that we have a random topic and inside the random topic we have the data you can see 96 and then after 10.39 and if you want to see the graph of this random uh, tag you can click here and you can watch the graph okay so this is how you can use javascript to create your own mqtt publisher now you can use this javascript code in your windows machine in your linux machine or in your raspberry pi as well and this is a scalable so you can use this code with your modbus device uh, opc ua device opc da backnet device to read the data from that device and to publish the data to mqtt broker okay so javascript is capable for that and it's scalable also so i hope this thing is clear that javascript is useful to publish your data to mqtt broker and using mqtt client software we can read that data over the internet from anywhere in the world and this is the data flow diagram i haven't used the mosquito mqtt broker which is in my local system because if we use the local mqtt broker then data will be available locally only okay but if you want to access the data if you want to remote early monitor your data over the internet then cloud mqtt broker is the best choice so that's why i have used this hive mq broker and uh, here you can see it is publishing the data okay so i hope this thing is clear that how to create your own mqtt publisher using javascript and if you want to download the code then you can click here and you can download the code now in the next video uh, along with this mqtt publisher we will create mqtt subscriber so instead of using this mqtt explorer mqtt client software we will use javascript to connect with the mqtt broker and to read this topic data okay 
so let's meet in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you